Hey. So last week, we put on the first coat of barrier coat. As Richard's pointed out, I missed a few spots. Hey, Captain, you missed this. You missed a spot over here, Captain. You better come get it. It's a big spot. <laughs> so our learning experience continues under our loving guidance. Here you go. Here you go. Come on. Look at that. A monkey could have done that. No, uh, no banana. <laughs> there you go. Good job. What about down there? And everybody's a critic. But this week, we finished the painting. I take every opportunity that I can to lay down on the job, as you can see. Yeah, By this point, can... paint fumes and exhaustion was creating some delirium, as you can see. I painted a transducer. We can't even talk now. Transducer. I thought you was... Ship. We're not even on the ship yet. Oh, whatever. I have one job in this boat yard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Record. <laughs> Record and make sure everybody knows we're fine. We're still okay. We haven't been swept away by hurricane yet. Oh yeah. With that in mind, uh, mom, family, we're all still okay. A little high, but okay. Bev and Richard were such slave drivers. They never let me get up. I did have to crack the whip just to keep him moving, but as you can see, he was having plenty of fun down there on the ground. Hey, what? That's a weird angle. Don't do that. Get some more. That's your job. Can't you do uh, all Proof of life. Yes. <laughs> Every week we show proof of life. We haven't been washed away. Well, if we're going to be staying here Saturday, I don't know how we're going to edit the video. Oh. Um. Magic. Uh huh. <laughs> I really wasn't sure when we were going to have time to do this video. Hey, you're failing in your job. Look at this, I'm having to get all this. Hey, I haven't, get, I haven't done that over there. Yeah, well. Don't blame me for that. And you're supposed to be doing the kill. Mommy does everything else. Yeah, you have one job. Yes. Paint the bottom of the kill. Yeah. Tiny faces. And the bottom of the kill is very dirty. The biggest guy. I bet. I'm afraid of heights, so what they do, they put me on the ground. Well, isn't that better? Uh, yeah. <laughs> See what we're going to do without whining. Why? That's it. When we get the mast up, we're putting at the top of the mast. <laughs> In the crow's nest for you. Okay, but just now, every five seconds, I'm going to say, land ho! Nope, that was wrong. I'm not sure you could do that if we're right next to land. <laughs> we will only be right next to land for so long, you know. With two coats of barrier paint now applied, we can finally move on to the anti-fouling paint. And we're moving along pretty good with it. And I think it makes such a huge difference in how she looks. It is such a great contrast, isn't it? She's bathed with the blood of her enemies. 
I thought this was a ship of peace. Nah. <laughs> we have to keep Kenton on track of what we're doing and why we're doing it. But still, doesn't she look really good? I still think she needs cannon doors. She might have been famous for her big red sails, but I'm just wondering if perhaps the fish in the sea knew her by her big red keel and belly. What? You mean the fish knew about the dimples in Angelina's butt too? Hey, there's some things a lady does not speak of, okay? Uh, everything's taboo with women. Now that she's all painted, we have to move the jack stands and paint in those spots and make sure there's no blisters. Chain's been there a while. Yeah, probably four years. What's up? I had to soak those jacks with WD-40 to get them moving. This was a lot more stressful for me than it was for Kenton. I had no idea how this was going to work out. We were all trembling in our boots. Well, Cayman and I were. Kenton, he had this down. Angelina had been on the heart so long that that palm tree had grown through the jack. Okay, here we are with the last of the anti fouling. We've done our primer on where the stands were, we moved them, and now we're putting on that last coat. Yesterday I got a little high on this stuff here. Woo. And I was going on and on about it. Buy a boat, they said. It'll be fun, they said. I just want you guys to know, some of you YouTubers, you guys lie. This is not fun at all. You guys made it seem like fun. This is not fun at all. Except for you guys at uh, GBU. You know, Matt and uh, Kristen, you guys were honest. I remember that video. You, you said it's not fun. But we're almost done. We're almost there. I just have to get the tape off. So you're back around in the spot. <laughs> yeah, that's what painting's about. Peeling tape, moving tape. And coming and all the way around to the same spot. Coming back with <laughs> new tape. Uh, you got a wrinkle right there. I don't care about that wrinkle. I care about this line. <laughs> this line right here. Right. Sandy, don't forget Sandy. Well, that's Sandy, huh? Uh, it's lots of freaking Sandy. The rest of my yarn is reaching up this far. I got this far. <laughs> Well, you're in a different spot now. <laughs> the other side of the <laughs> Guess you ran out of the big tape, huh? No, I still got that, but I figure we only had so much of the uh, wide tape and then so much of the narrow tape, so I figured to use the wide tape below for the uh, drip lines, or for the drips, and the narrow stuff above. Don't get it perfect. Okay, because mommy's doing all the baby. <laughs> <laughs> Little did he know. So evil. <laughs> well, y'all have taken the brushes away from me so many times. You didn't want the brushes. I'm just exciting. I'm the mechanic. Not the trim guy. No. <laughs> Doing nothing of the sort. I'm creating new lines. Yep. 
I didn't agree with your line, so I'm making my own. No. Okay. We've been thinking about doing some pencil marks and adding another stripe of tape up here so you can like. This holds up their pores, I know. Okay. That's not like almost falling up? No. <laughs> so Cayman decided to tell me that he's got a bottle of liquid ice. I decided to explain <laughs> physics to him and you know what that was and it's called water. H2O. <laughs> Thank goodness for water, that's what keeps us afloat. Yeah, and also what keeps us alive. <laughs> Got some liquid ice here. Yeah, uh, you're freaking me out. I'm on stubbly. It's stubbly. Uh, really yeah. <laughs> I'm okay with tight. I don't like wobbly. So now you're taking off the tape for the stripe? Yep. It's actually coming off really good. Well, that one doesn't have nearly as many coats on it. See, just as I said that. Now I know what you're talking about was the squishy parts. Mm-hmm, right? It kind of freaks you out because it also goes squee the sound. We're talking about the scaffolding. Scaffolding has squishy parts. Yeah, not this stuff. Not the boat. Not the boat. <laughs> no, the boat. nice and solid. It's the scaffolding. It's been out in the elements for like... Ever? ever. Yeah. As you can see, we're now putting Angelina's name and port of call back on. And also, you can see Kenton started without the camera, so we couldn't get the top part done on camera for you guys. But you can kind of see the process of how he's doing this. And it's coming out really good. It's almost a perfect match for the paint. Say hi. So we started with the red stripes and when I first put it on from my angle it looked so bright. It did not look like the red that was on there before and I was afraid it was just not going to look right. But I kept going trusting that the paint swatch was what we wanted and as we went it got darker thankfully. So as it turns out it was such a good match. It matched the lettering, the old paint that we had, and it came out really good contrast with the white. And let me tell you, doing around the windows took a whole lot longer than this time lapse shows. It was very tedious work to paint around all these little windows, but I have to say it was definitely worth it. The details are what makes it come out really good in the end. So there you have it. With her red stripes back on, I think she looks pretty good. Look, we're peeling off the blue tape now. And it really shows up. After two coats of red paint on her stripes, it really brightens her up.
We had a lot of compliments in the boatyard about how good she was coming out. And I have to say, it really gave us a sense of satisfaction and pride in our hard work. And as you can see, there is a lot of taping that is involved in the painting process. So I went around that boat once again with more tape and up and down the scaffolding. This time, taking off the last of the tape around the windows really made her look sharp. And here we're taking off the tape on the water line. And as you can see, it's really sharp next to the anti-fouling and then the white on the other side. I was so excited about this. With the painting finally done, we went ahead and scheduled our boat launch, so we're going to be splashing in the water soon. But we also found out we had a little time to kill, so we had some other projects we wanted to knock out before going to the marina. Mainly all the sanding we wanted to try to get done before we went to the marina, because that sound sander is so loud, as any of you may know. So we wanted to try to get that done before we went into the marina. So join us next week as we get ready to launch. Here she is. <laughs>